had a vision for this film and that was to to make it a bit eclectic to have your your faster paced shots where it's a challenge to have this big camera but we want to create emotion in them we want erratic shots we want almost the the chaos that life can sometimes present to us so here we are in one of the abandoned stables at the equestrian centre. Um, we're about to do a scene indoors where we're utilising a window with sunlight hitting the floor, um, but the subject is going to be uh, quite dark and in shadow. So this is going to be a great opportunity to test the 16 stops of dynamic range that the Venice 2 has. Uh, we're running the 50mm 1.2. We're in low base ISO, looking forward to seeing how this scene goes. Um, we've got the best camera for the job. We started off with very fast paced shots, uh, you know, having to really handle the Venice in a very competent manner, getting the focus right, getting hooves that, come, that passes the camera quickly, hair that's in the wind, you know, establishing a moment of erratic chaos and then cutting that uh, to a very serene, silent moment in a stable. This is a cinema camera and so obviously you need a big team to work with it. Today we didn't have a really big team and I was really impressed by the ergonomics of this camera. Um, it was easy to move around, it was actually easy to shoot in tight spaces. Um, so that's really impressive and with the Venice 2 I think um, you can actually shoot relatively light if you want to. So that's really great. Um, the last thing that I really enjoyed was the eight steps of, of ND filters. Um, shooting indoors, outdoors, it was really quick and fast just to switch. This story is essentially uh, a metaphor for life. There are lots of people that aid and help us in our journey and it's important to know and to understand that we receive but we got to give back. And that's what we try to, to do with this.